Have you ever heard of the Adaptive Cruise Control or the Lane Keep Assist? In this short video, I'll be showing you how the radar and the calibration we did on this car helps it to achieve this function. Then I enable my cruise control. Now watch this. Because there's a car in front of me, the car is slowing down to maintain the, the gap. And now watch this. See, the, the steering is steering itself to keep me on the lane. You see? So watch this. I'm not the one. I, the, the car is the one steering itself to make sure that I don't leave the lane. Because I applied the brakes, the speed has slowed down. So let's pick up speed again. Now it's sensing a car in front of me, so it's refusing to speed up. But now I'm engaging the cruise control back. It's trying to go, so I'm not the one accelerating. My foot is off the pedal, but it's using the radar. It's sensing the cars in front, and it's also steering me to make sure I'm in the middle of the lane. So if it notices that I'm about to veer off, for example, it steers me back, and it's controlling the speed. Because there's no car in front of me, it's... It's picking up speed, but if a car comes in front of me to apply brakes, watch this. The car is applying brake by itself. I'm not the one braking. It's braking because it's sensing a car in front. You, you, you notice that? So, so that's why the radar um, cruise is very important. It helps you adjust the speed based on vehicles in front. And see, I'm not the one applying brake. And if that guy stops, the car will stop. 